Neil Batale here. I have Neilian.com, which is about physics and mathematics. All right, let's say we want to take the antiderivative or the integral of sine of 2x. If it was just sine of x, you probably would know how to do that. However, if you don't know that, you should go back and review what the derivatives of sine of x and cosine of x are. All right, so we've got the integral of sine of 2x dx. Basically what that means is you first probably learned how to do derivatives in calculus. So when you take an integral, you're trying to find the thing that when you take the derivative will give you sine of 2x. Sine of 2x being the thing in between the integral sine and the differential dx. So we're, we're going to try and fill in that green box with something that when we take the derivative of it will give us sine of 2x. The technique that we'll use is called u substitution. So I'm going to pick u equals 2x. It takes a little bit of practice to develop which choices you make for u and which are going to be useful. Sometimes you choose something and it doesn't work out. Sometimes you choose something and it works right away. So I'll say u equals 2x. Therefore, du dx is 2. If we bring the dx over to the right side, we find that du equals 2 dx. And if we do some algebra, we find that du over 2 equals dx. Now we're going to substitute back into the original integral using the letter u instead of the letter x. So before we had an x in the function and a dx for the differential, now we want u in the function and du for the differential. So we've got sine of u times 1 half du. So we substituted things with the letter u for things with the letter x. So I'm going to bring the 1 half in front of the integral because you can do that. It doesn't change anything. Then we've got sine u du in the integral. And the integral or the antiderivative of sine of u is going to be minus cosine of u. Because when you take the derivative of cosine of x, you get minus sine x. So therefore, we want a negative sign to get to a positive result. So now we have the answer in terms of u. We've got minus 1 half cosine of u plus c. And we're going to substitute back in because the original variable is x. So minus 1 half cosine 2x plus c. That's the answer.